different multirotor concepts are emerging in the wind industry. As they make their mark, a compelling question arises. Can these innovative designs truly rival the established dominance of large single-rotor wind turbines? What precisely is propelling the rise of these multirotor concepts and what limitations are they aiming to address within the framework of the traditional model? In this video, we will discuss the limitations of current large single-rotor wind turbines and how multirotor wind turbines are addressing these issues. To reduce the cost of wind energy, the wind industry has chosen to opt for bigger wind turbines, and that is an effective strategy because you need fewer turbine installations in a wind farm for a given power output. This not only saves on construction and installation costs, but also makes wind energy more economically viable. In fact, now wind turbines are the largest rotating machines in the world. Building such huge wind turbine structures is truly a marvel of engineering. The world's biggest wind turbine, now in production, will have a rotor diameter of 260 meters. To put that into size context, how big it is, that area is almost the size of seven football fields and generates enough electricity for 40,000 households each year. But now the industry is reaching a threshold limit, both in terms of technology and capacity. Wind turbine blades are now reaching lengths of over 120 meters. The weight of wind turbine blades tends to increase as they get larger, and this increase in weight is influenced by various factors related to the blade's design, materials, and structural requirements. As wind turbine blades get longer, their size and surface area increase. This requires more structural material to maintain the necessary stiffness and strength to withstand the aerodynamic forces and loads experienced during operation. The weight of the wind turbine blade follows the cube square law. Which means if you just double the length of the wind turbine blade, its weight would grow eight times. The increased weight also poses structural risks, as there is a limit to how big you can build this massive structures before the blades get failed from their own weight. As wind turbines get larger, manufacturing the massive components becomes more challenging. Casting and forging large components like blades, towers, and hubs can be technically complex and require specialized facilities. Transporting large wind turbine blades is a complex endeavor. These massive structures, with their sheer size and weight, pose unique challenges that demand specialized equipment, meticulous route planning, and sometimes even modifications to infrastructure to ensure they can safely traverse our roadways, bridges, and other obstacles. Installing those massive wind turbine blades is quite the feat. We're talking about blades that can stretch beyond 100 meters. To get the job done, you need heavy-duty cranes and specialized equipment, all handled by skilled personnel. But that's not all. Site accessibility, weather conditions, and safety regulations add layers of complexity, making meticulous planning absolutely essential. Moreover, the increased component failures have also been observed with larger wind turbines. With these challenges in mind, the innovative multiple rotor wind turbines step in with a unique solution. They offer a way to address the issues faced by their single large rotor counterparts and play a key role in propelling the green energy transition forward. Unlike conventional single-rotor turbines, which have one large rotor, multi-rotor turbines consist of multiple smaller rotors, arranged in a cluster on a single support structure. One of the standout features of multi-rotor turbines is the ability to individually control each rotor's pitch and yaw. This allows the turbine to optimize power generation by adjusting the orientation of each rotor according to the wind direction. Myriad Wind Energy System, a startup of three PhD students from Glasgow is working on its multi-rotor wind turbine. The Myriad Wind Energy System is designing a next-generation wind turbine with 12 small rotors, instead of just one large rotor, based on the modular approach. 
made up of easy-to-manufacture 13 meters blades. This reduces the weight from 40 tons to 10 tons. The modular frame is easy to manufacture, assembled and installed on the site. With small size and lightweight blades, transport becomes easy. The blades and frame sections can easily fit into standard heavy good vehicles. Built-in maintenance system allows easy removal and replacement of units, reducing the need for cranes. With off-site refurbishment of units, less time is spent at heights, resulting in improved turbine availability. This is how the modular approach delivers substantial benefits while also reducing manufacturing, transportation, and installation costs. Another startup is Wind Catching Systems, a Norwegian company based in Oslo. They have designed a floating offshore wind power system with 126 tiny rotors on a 1,000-foot high structure. This floating wind catcher can provide power for 80,000 households, and five units can produce the same electricity as 25 conventional wind turbines at a fraction of the cost. With its ability to capture more energy from higher wind speeds, the wind catcher can generate 2.5 times the annual energy of conventional turbines, and excess energy can be used for storage solutions like green hydrogen production. The wind catcher is designed for easy operations and maintenance. It utilizes an elevator-based turbine installation system. All the heavy lifting and complex operations happen right on the deck. This means there's no need for specialized vessels or cranes, making the installation process smoother and more cost-effective. The inventor believes that this type of turbine makes it easier for birds to see and avoid, but there will always be a risk, so we have speakers on all of them. One of the focuses of Myriad Wind Energy Systems is to use recyclable materials to build blades so that the whole value chain becomes sustainable and circular. Both startups will introduce their pilot program in 2024 in Europe. Indeed, it's an interesting time ahead for the wind industry, and we are excited and looking forward to seeing their progress.